Hey, welcome to day 39. Happy to see you. And uh, I have I have my helper here. <laughs> it was determined first thing today that uh, that is his spot and not mine. So I'm not sure where we're going with Tai Chi, but I wanted to share with you a book that I'm going to explore a little bit more and I'm going to introduce the ideas of Tai Chi for kids. And for many of you, I know you have grandchildren uh, that might be in your house right now or might be, um, you know, you coming and going and playing and those kinds of things, things you could share about what you know about Tai Chi and how you could share with them. And if you have kids at your house, then maybe you might be able to get them involved in doing a little more Tai Chi. So I'm going to share this storybook, Lisa Spillane, Six Healing Sounds. I'm going to do the adult version today, but I am going to explore the kids version and I will get it taped so that I can share it with everybody later. Okay, so let's get started. And I'm, I guess what I'm going to do is a standing version of um, let's do part one and part two of Tai Chi standing. And I will let Hunter rule the roost of the bench. And let's, uh, let's wait for everybody to get on board. So I'll just turn that, see if I can get this set up right. You can see my feet. Okay, hopefully. All right, <laughs> here goes. All right, hello Jeanette. I, I lost my bench. <laughs> so I'm gonna do standing version part one and part two. And, uh, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so let's do the bow. I won't have my feet quite squished together. So shoulder width apart, grabbing onto the hands. Here we go. Nice and relaxed. And then let that go. And commencement. As you're doing this, just thinking about uh, some of the things we've done over the last couple of days in awareness, because we're gonna do more awareness today. So this is going to come through, hold the ball, left grasp its tail, and then have a crumb underneath my foot, and then grasp its tail, go in there and back. See, there's a cat treat that came out, palm towards palm, open the hands, and two hands are going to go out, sinking back, whip to one side, into your right foot, right heel is going to go out, sink, foot, hand, and glide across, planting the foot, white stork spreads wings, let that come around, and brush knee left, half a step, heel goes out, open, brush knee left, Twist step, brush knee right. Hmm, twist step, brush knee left. You keep walking. Half a step. I'm gonna just dance backwards here for a moment. There, brush knee left. Twist step, hold the flowers. Step through, deflect, carry, and punch. Wipe the sleeve. Two hands, comes around, and sink. Crossing that over. Oh, I've done this for a little while. <laughs> Standing, here we go. Okay, part two. Go in there, back, palm to palm. Open the hands, two hands go out. Sinking back. It's going to come out, whip out diagonal, sink, comes around, reach out, hand goes underneath the fist, open, step back, sink, open, sink, open, going to come around into the right foot, step up to raise hands, reaching out, and then up. Ah, I have two 
Jeanette's here today. Thumbs out. One here in Port Hood, the other one in BC. Good to have you both. And then brush knee. Half a step. Push the needle to C bottom. That's going to come back. Reach out. Fan penetrates back, so this turns, chops, wipe the sleeve, fold the flowers, get through, deflect, parry, and punch. Twist step, hold the ball, grasp for its tail. Bow and arrow back, <laughs> palm to palm. Open the hands. Two hands go out, comes back around, whip to one side, sink, and reach. Move hands like clouds. We have five. goes out, comes back through, whip to one side, and reach out. High pat on horse, sink back into your right, hands come up, sink into the right, reach out. Turn, heel kick, fold the flowers, I think I got lost here somewhere. No, maybe not. <laughs> palm to palm. Open the hands. Thumbs back. Yes, totally lost. I forgot to put down. Stop there. I forgot to separate right and left. Okay, sorry. I go into the chandelier and into the table and pew, that was the end as I was thinking about it. I'm going to run into the table. Okay, so I'm going to stop there. <laughs> Just call me crazy today. All right, let's leave that. Let's leave that because I'm not exactly sure what I missed. So I'm going to just pause there. But let's go to... Um, Let's go to move hands like clouds, but let's do the seven. Because what I want you to do is pay attention to where it's loose in the body and where it's moving. And I want to keep flow going too. So just being in that space. So seven of them. So we're coming across. Here's number six, and here's number seven. Hopefully you're moving further than I am. Comes back around, whip to one side, sink, and reach out. Okay, hopefully that gave you the flow you're looking for. All right, I apologize for that set, because I know exactly what I missed and know where I went, where I fell apart. Okay, there's my sleepy head over here. I'm going to grab a chair, and that's because he does rule the roost, but also, until yeah, I tapped him, he was snoozing. <laughs> okay, here's what I want to do. I want us to explore um, sounds and color today. So if you did move hands like clouds, I wanted you to notice where there was flow, where there wasn't flow, where it was a little bit um, tighter in the body or looser. Okay, so for example, I was really good to sink down into my right leg here. And I could feel my back open to come across, but when I got halfway, 
then it was like it stuck just a little bit. There wasn't as much rotation that I could get onto the left side as I was sinking in that left leg. That's an example. Arms feel pretty good over this way. Probably the best that it's felt in a long time. So that's good. And it's very fluid. Okay. What I do notice is just kind of in the pelvis here, in the hip, a little bit of tightness. Again, it's, it's just in the, on the inside of the pelvic bone. So that's what I wanted to notice. The pelvic bone being actually hip bone, but inside. Okay. So I wanted you to notice that because we're going to go back. And we're going to use that as a gauge. Okay, so I've just got my feet planted shoulder width apart. And we're going to do the seated to standing on you. We're going to trace the meridians. So this is also going to tell us where we're noticing anything is holding on and then how we can shift it. Okay, so let's do um, three sets of the three to start off with and just see what it feels like. So we're going to fall into the feet. Balance on the feet. Yeah, that doesn't feel so good. And <laughs> push up. <laughs> okay. And definitely, definitely not with full capacity. Okay. Let's just do a second set here. See if it shifts at all. Feel slightly. Okay. This is where I wish I had all your feedback for those people that will be watching. Okay. So, falling into the feet. And then lift. Okay, so for me, it got a little bit easier as I went, but it's still effort. And I can feel it's like effort in my legs. Okay, so let's trace central and governing. The color for those are uh, either white, gray, or black. So let's just bring white in. And what I'd like you to do is bring white in through the third eye through the front forehead, which we use in loka. And what I learned yesterday is there's a reason that hand goes there, and that's because healing begins when it comes through the third eye. And that was shared by a colleague of mine. So um, what I'd like to do, let me just see what Jeanette had written in there. Effort in the knee. Okay, perfect. Thanks, Jeanette. So let's see if it changes. So we have a color of uh, white. We're just going to imagine it's just like it's just coming in and it's just going to float down us and fill up all the spaces in us. Okay, so here goes. Uh, sorry, central comes up the front, goes into the center of the body. You can feel the back relax, goes up the back, over the top, top lip. And if you want to put an affirmation in, you can look into the palm of your hand. And I move with ease and joy. Comes back down. Up the front. Down the center. Up the back, over the top. Comes back in. I have gratitude for how my body moves easily for me. Comes back down. Up the front. Still thinking about that white light shining all the way through, filling up every crevice. Coming around, looking in the mirror, this time you just say, I love you. Let that come back down, finishes in the front. Okay, now let's do the dummies. Here we go. See what you notice. <laughs> I love it. That was like nothing. I just popped right off the chair. And then let that go. Okay. For me, that was night and day. <laughs> it's like, I actually feel like I have energy to like just pick up and go. So that was a huge shift. So I hope you felt something similar. Okay, so now we're going to go to stomach and spleen. Stomach is, starts at the cheekbone. Spleen's going to come up and through, and it comes up towards the armpit and then finishes down by the ribs. Stomach and spleen 
on the earth element. The color for them is yellow. And so you're just going to think the color yellow. And um, empathy and sympathy are the two emotions that go with that. So you could just be, you know, just relaxing into how it feels and being empathetic to the body about where it needs a little bit more energy and how you're going to provide it. And then the sound for the earth element is who. Okay, so who. So I'll be making the sound all by myself, so hopefully you can make the sound at home. You can do it silently, but it's much better if it's out loud. The louder it is, the better, but I know you, you're sharing a space with people. <laughs> okay, so we're going to circle around. It's going to come down and off. And then this is going to come back in and down by the side. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to put two patterns in. So here we go. So it goes who, who, who. So one more. Who, who, who. I think, I think we need a third. I tried to do less. Who. So now normally we would have done four tracings, but they have different sounds. So the next one, the palm goes underneath, it goes for your pinky finger, inside of the pinky, and then it wraps around to the outside pinky. That's heart and small intestine. That's the color red. The sound is he. And uh, joy, love, uh, and hate are the emotions that are on there. So you're thinking about how much you uh, how much love you have for your body and all its parts and the sound that's going to go with that he as you're thinking red okay so you're going to come underneath over the top that's our trace comes to the front of the ear other side underneath over the top to the ear okay so let's put in the danyu he he red he, 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 and one more, he, 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 he. All right, as I was doing that, I could feel the energy around my, my hands. It's just like it's, it's nice and big. It's just like it went ballooning up, which is fantastic. That I didn't even notice coming off the chair. So Jeanette, hopefully you're noticing your knees have changed. Okay, so the next part, we go to ladder, which is water. Water is fear and anxiety. So what we're going to do is, if you're feeling anxious or anything like that, notice that feeling, you let it go, and you replace that with calm, okay? And blue, the sound is chew. So we're going to go ladder, down the back channel, down the back of the legs, out the feet, comes back in the front, up to the collarbone. Okay, here goes our Danus. Chew. Color is blue. That's what I'm wearing today. Chew. And up. Chew. And sink. Again. Chew. 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 And sink. One more. Chew. 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 And sink. Okay, so now we're going to go under the arm, which is middle finger, circulation, and then triple warmer. That is uh, red, again, it's a fire element. And so love, joy, and hate. So again, bringing in that love for yourself into every nook and cranny and the joy that you get 
from the energy that's cultivated from that love. And the sound for this is ha. Okay, so we're going to go underneath, over the top, corner of the eyebrow. Other side, underneath, over, corner of the eyebrow. All right, here we go. E. Oops, sorry. Ha. Enough. Ha. more ha 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 and the fifth one okay that one actually I felt my shoulders just kind of let go whatever tension was up here it just finally calmed down which is great okay gallbladder so gallbladder and liver are part of the wood element, which is anger and resentment. So if you have any feelings like that, then you can think about resolving and releasing. Because when you're holding on to that anger, it's not serving you at all, so you're just gonna let it go. Just release. And the color being green, the sound is shh. Okay, so this one goes from the cheekbone. We go in front of the ear, over the ear, side, down the side, off the foot, comes back in, goes towards the ribs, and then finishes in front. Okay, I'm your Donya. That was interesting. changed all of a sudden that first that went up and it was like oh I need to slow down that was very cool okay so the last one is lung and large intestine white gray or silver it's the color that you'll be thinking about grief guilt or regret are the emotions that go with that and the sound is like a snake so grief, guilt, and regret. There are lots of things that I'm sure you could think of there. <laughs> so we're just going to let that go because we're just going to offer ourselves forgiveness. If we haven't done something correctly, we were operating in our best possible way. And all we can do is forgive ourselves. So we're just going to offer that. Okay, so we're going to go lung to thumb, pointer finger, opposite nostril. Lung to thumb, point your finger, opposite nostril. Okay, <laughs> even even that's just like uh. Okay, here goes, and this is. Okay, we have done double the Danus because we broke up all the tracings, but I want to go back to central and governing and just make sure everything is where it needs to be. So we go up the front, down the middle, up the back, over the top, looking in the mirror, I got this. Down, up the front, down, up the back, over the top, looking in the mirror, 
nothing but love and gratitude. Going down. You have given yourself this time. It's so critical. And you offered it to yourself. And with joy. Going back down. Okay, the last set of values. Let's see what they feel like. And this one, we don't have any sound. Let's just enjoy it and breathe. one. Okay, your legs may be feeling it. <laughs> we might not know where relaxation is when we go to do the uh, move hands like clouds. We did a lot of Danus. This is a great workout today. So, uh, <laughs> I apologize for my blunder there in the set, but I think I made up for it in the amount of work you had to put into the uh, to the actual donies in there. Okay, Danette, warm now. Okay, hopefully that uh, is not a hot flash. You've actually let it go. Okay, let's do the move hands like clouds. I'm just going to move myself over so I have enough room to the table. So we've got seven. So feeling those legs, take it across. Push. Sink. Over. Push. Sink. Push. Sink. Push. Okay. Now, can you imagine? rainbow of color coming through your hands. Got that white coming into the third eye for healing. Rainbow of color in your hands. Last one is going to go out. Comes back in. Rainbow comes right out. That golden pill. That thread. Sink. Okay. Now, evaluate where you're at and if you had a change and what was going on. So, <laughs> one, I can feel how many darn news we did. I can feel that, but I can also feel a strength that I didn't have before. I thought I was fine, but now I can actually feel the strength. Um, there definitely was this relaxed flow. My shoulders had let go, the neck a little bit longer, and I can sink nice and easily down on this right leg but still, there's a little bit of catch here on the left that I'm aware of. And so I just, that's what I'm feeling. But definitely the difference, even just after tracing central and government, um, for not tracing to tracing, night and day. So I just wanted to point out ways for you to assess and then be able to look at it. So now, I know you're not looking into a camera. I'm looking into a camera every day and I see my reflection back. I just want you to be aware, as you stand there now, is your neck nice and long? We talked about that yesterday. And then is your spine nice and long? And can you feel the tailbone drop? And can you feel the planting down into the feet? Okay, so from that position, I just want you to go to the foundation here but leave everything open and just let it flow. Okay, and then hopefully you feel the buoyancy that's coming through the legs. I'm hoping, Jeanette, that the uh, warming up is uh, like the thermostat's at the right spot. Hope that's the case. And my other Jeanette, I just know for you warming up, that would be great. So let's just take that where it is. Now, the next part, because we did colors, we did emotion, we did sound. Uh, sound and color take us to the highest frequency. So we can move, but if we add those two components, we actually catapult the healing forward in ways that we 
don't when we hold back the voice and that changes the way the air exchanges and so now that we've done that let's do spine rotation and you can just focus on that spine and just really gently turning and just letting all the emotions coming through the spine let them all just open and release so nice and gentle you're totally relaxed and just let that be Okay, I'm hoping that we start to really let go and massage. So it was even my brain just started to kind of shut down, which is great too. Okay, so we have those two. Let's go to parting bamboo, sink, feel the back open. And now you're gonna just pay attention to the parts that might still be holding on as you go out. See if you can leave it balanced. So for me, <laughs> crack, crack down the spine. All right, still have a little bit of trouble with this right shoulder. And what I can feel is when I get out to about here, that's the end of the flexibility on the left side. So the right side could keep going. So I try just to keep it balanced. And I try to focus on being balanced with it. So I don't extend one side out. It would be really easy for me when I get to here, to let the right side just go all the way to its range of motion and then push this one through. But I don't want to do that. I want to keep it balanced. So I'm going to hold on to that. When I find it's not quite balancing, I'm going to drop my tailbone, expand my back, and let it stay balanced that way. Okay, so I hope that helps or whomever else is watching. So I'm gonna to try to keep it balanced. I start to feel where there's a little resistance. I'm gonna drop my tailbone, expand, expand, and support the whole system. And then let it come up. Okay, sink, let it expand. Balance the whole system, turn, nice. Okay. I'm saying nice because I can feel it inside me. I'm not sure what everybody else is feeling. Okay, let's leave that. Let's take your wooden spoon or your saber. And I actually have a stool <laughs> to sit on now. My, my master has left. Okay, let's just, we worked on this move yesterday. And so I want to leave that one alone. What I would like to work on this time is the place where it's just after the first part where you push out and then you go over the left shoulder, you come all the way around, grab onto the wrist, over the top, and then let that come out. Okay, that's the part I want to work on. And I want to work on that for you to be able to feel where it lets go and where it holds so you can start to realize those pieces now i'm going to try and link for you up some of the muscles some of the colors and see if that makes a difference okay so we'll just do it so you're going out then you have push into your right foot just a little bit that's going to start around your left shoulder push into your left foot a little bit to even it out push into your right foot to take it around 
push into both feet, actually the stiff bone, and it comes down. Okay, so you know what that felt like. Okay, when we go out, we are engaging anterior serratus in the front. Um, sorry, pex in the front, anterior serratus has to let go in the back. So here's stomach. Stomach is engaged. And then when we come around here, we're going to continue through spleen. Now I'm isolating it very significantly. It has more than that, but let's just take it to its basic component for us to play and come out. Because I would hate for someone to say, she's got that all wrong. I'm just going to focus on one little piece. So if we go stomach spleen, so that would be pec clavicular and latissimus dorsi, which comes up the back. And it's engaged on one side, then it's engaged on the other side, and then it comes through. Okay, so let's just talk about those two. Earth element, color's yellow, sound is who. Okay, so if you push out, and then begin. Yellow. Who comes through. Up, breathing in. Who. Let's just try that again. Let it go out. Okay. So you know what that felt with color and sound. Now take it without that. Just do the movement. like the body already knows. I don't know if you felt like that. It was like everything tightened up and it was like, I'm not going to let go for you. But if I breathe and I do the colors, it's totally there. Okay. So let's try it one more time. So yellow. In. And again, Powerful if you can let the sound out. You can't let the sound out even if you get it with the air, the blowing out. Hopefully you can hear that. Um, that's valuable. And if you're going silent, silent, that's okay. But really, if you get a chance to play with sound, it's amazing. Okay, so that gives us a chance to see how we can encompass that in there. Gives a little bit of the type um, um, saber in there. You've just finished this move, and then you go into the step pas quoi, cross, come down, go back over. Now when you go up like this and over, and again I'm going to simplify it, we've got anterior serratus, which is lung. So we've got lung in there, which is white, gray, silver, and the sound is So if you're coming over, this would be a breath in. And then if you go let it come out, and then around. Okay, so let's just try that again. So you're going over the top, let that come around. Okay, so you know what that felt like. So now just try it with no sound, no color. There's a richness that comes when you add that extra little piece in it. Just try it one more time with the sound and color. White, silver, gray. Okay. <laughs> so, for the two Jeanettes that are here and anybody who didn't watch from the beginning, uh, how did I get to sound and color today? I was introduced back to a children's storybook about Tai Chi and about how to release emotion using the six healing sounds from uh, Tai Chi. And so I had a conversation with someone about how the Don Yu's using 
sound and color has made a difference for them. And I thought, well, let's bring it back. It's not part of our regular Tai Chi practice. However, if it gives you a new tool to find awareness, and if you find a way to relax the body in a much better way, use the tool. And you can get it there. Okay, so let's leave Saber and those little pieces. I wanted you to just have a, a chance to play those isolated parts. And let's move the bench out because I would like to do Loka. And what I'd like to do is do Loka from the start. I will probably have to break it up to fit into my space. So we'll do a little bit, then we'll stop. And maybe break a few things down, then we'll do the next part. Because we got ourselves uh, into part two. <clears throat> and we also got ourselves um, just a little ways into part two. So just to be able to work that for those people who have been practicing low cup. And for my Tai Chi people here in Cape Breton, uh, we had our workshop with Doug Waynes um, <laughs> just before the isolation. He made it home just in time. And uh, we have not been together to practice low cup. I've managed to get us through quite a bit of the, the movements but we haven't had a chance to really practice. So this will be it. Okay, so um, let's not worry about the bow at the moment, but let's take the palm up, which we explored yesterday. Let the hips relax, tailbone's gonna go back, expand, and then let that come through. Nice big breath in, sink. Let the fingertips release that hip and open the back. Expand. So you have working in there, coming around, latissimus dorsi is working, there's that earth element again, coming up, turn the palm, you're looking over to your right, sink, drop the tailbone, this is going to come through, sink back, spirals up, let that unwind, Step through, and now this is going to go towards the brow. We talked about that today. Color is white, white light in that space. So I'm brushing down to your knee. Hold the ball. Step goes to the brow. Bow and arrow. Down to the knee. Wipe the hand across. Expand out, step together, sink up to the top, opens, sink. So from there, push out from the center, turning back to the front, roll the right hand, sinking back. Palm is going to go up, sink. I'm going to walk through the feet. Feel the toe, toe to heel, and push. That's going to sink back, turn, roll the hands over so the palms are up, sink, step, and then you're going to push through. Step, patois, step parallel, reach up and over, expand, sink down to your hip, and push that open by spiraling, spiral back down, and reach up. Okay, that's where I'm going to run out of room. <laughs> okay, what I would love to do is go from where you walk through the feet, because we talked a little bit about that last couple of days, and that power, that push out of the feet, engage the toes, work through the toes, and then do that sink really feel that. We worked quite a bit on that yesterday. So we're going uh, sink back and then you're going to walk through your right foot. Up, 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 up. Hands are going to lift you up. Sink. And right here with the left you're going to sink down. Place the foot. Push up. Sinks back. Palms are going to roll over as you go to face the other way. So you're away from the TV. Step and reach out, step patois, step parallel, hands reach up, and you go over the top of your head, turn the palms up, sink down into your 
your right foot, plant the foot, and this is going to spiral out of the right, down into the right, and your hand comes down by your hip, and then this is going to go out flat. Okay. And you know that flat changes the way the pelvis is going to work, so just to keep that in mind. Okay, I'm just backing up. Let's go a little bit further. Okay, so you have hold the ball, goes to the brow, sink into that. Hold the ball, goes to the brow, open the hands, so you're wiping all the way around the edges of what they call your eggshell. Coming back around, circle that hand, and it's going to come up and around and turn. Step open, it's going to come out from the center, sink. Hands up, turn all the way around with that foot, the leg, step open, and sink. Open the hands, hold the ball, and then reach out with the left. Hold the ball, reach out with the right. We're going to wipe the table, and your right palm is going to come up in front of the face, and right here, sink. Drop open the back, lift, sink, hold the ball. And we're going to do three reaches. Left, hold the ball, right, hold the ball, left. I'm going to try to find the space for you. Okay, palm comes back. Green dragon puts out his claw. Dig the right foot and sink back. Turn the left toe to your back, crossing your hands. And this is a snake that goes down the right leg, turns all the way around in both hands and spirals you all the way around. Step through and push out. Okay, and then, let me back up, sinks back, palm comes up, turn the palm over and then walk through your toes. Toe heel, heel toe, push up. Okay, so it's going to come back around, hold the ball. This is going to go to your brow. I can think about that white light. Comes back, opens. Open, open, comes down, sink, reach out, push through, hold the flowers, push through, walk through your feet, and push out. This is going to sink back to the right, over to the left, rolling down, hold the ball and reach out. Sink back, I'm going to push left hand down and let the tailbone follow it, expand it, up. So now whatever tension you were feeling before when we started, hopefully that's going to work to be released. Sink. And then we have hold the ball. And this is, if we have everything released, all the motions resolved, then you have that spine, this little twist with your fingertips should easily open up all the possibilities in the spine and get the frequency up where you want it. Okay, so now you've got to post the letter. So you push to the right, push to the left, open the hands, come through, walk through your feet, and turn the palm out. This is going to sink back. Turn all the way around, face away, and step open with your left. You're going to sink down into the Ganyu. Link your fingers and they come up the middle. Sink down again. Open the left side all the way around so you can turn back to face the front. And hold the flowers. Push down. Hard to believe we did all this work 
across these weeks, okay? To the brow, cross, rolling down, slide through, step, turn, and push up. Then you step, pigeon toe, half foot, facing the back, hold the flowers up, roll the hands, sink. That's going to turn again. Hands come up and the left foot comes up. You sink down and you're going to spin on your right leg. Turn. Let the hands come through. Walk through your feet. And two hands start. So this comes back to the right. Turn. Big step over to the left. Then a double hand push to the right. Open the hands, push down. Okay, I have to give myself enough room here. I hope you're, we're so many turns and look up, I hope you're keeping up. Okay, so we're here. We're almost to the end of part one. So the left hand is going to come up, and then you're going to spiral down into the left leg. Hold the flowers up to the right, and then you're going to put out the left toe and slide the left hand down the left leg, sink. This comes up, step, rush, knee. This goes up, spiral. Hold the flowers to the left, down the leg, sink. And it comes through, brush me. Okay, grab your fingers, put them over top of your palm. Let's bring it back up. Okay, and step half step with your right. Open the hands, drop the tailbone, and you step aqua, toe heel. We worked on this the other day. Aqua, toe heel. Aqua, put out your right heel, that turns you around, and then you can come through. And this is what we just worked on the last two days. So it comes through, then you push right hand, then you push left hand, make a fist, little covers the face, goes right here, and that's that hand to the brow again, white light comes back, and then you cross the hand over, feet go together, rise up, feel what the hand is leading you, so easy to balance, push the right foot back, turn, slide down your right leg into a snake, comes over to the right, step aqua into the left corner, step around, and then raccoon chases the butterfly and stop. Okay, I know that's that's a little bit to get to that spot. Okay, raccoon chasing the butterfly. We did a ways back, one of the first couple of weeks. Thanks for hanging in there. I appreciate it, everybody. Um, I didn't realize it was five to six already, my time. Um, I hope you enjoyed working on some of those pieces and how to touch base with your body, figure out where the tension is, how you can let everything go and let everything move. So that's day 39. We have a big celebration to do tomorrow, 40 days. <laughs> that's a, a, a song I think we have here in Cape Breton, 40 days and 40 nights. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Thank you for being here. And, uh, we will see you. Thanks, Jeanette. I'm glad you enjoyed the sounds. You know, it's not everybody's thing. If they don't like to make sound, it's very difficult. Um, but one of the best things we can do. Anyway, I did notice the difference today. So I appreciate uh, the comments and the help bringing that back. Okay, talk to you later. Thanks, everyone.